family, and thank you for coming to our channel, Deb Chanel's 48th World, featuring the family affair. Happy Sunday afternoon, guys. Yes, I don't know if we're going to see the first reunion of the season 12 Real Housewives of Atlanta tonight, or we're going to see it on May 10th. Still up in the air. Anybody know for sure? Put it down in them comments, okay? But anyway, going to be just shouting out folks today on this video. Y'all thought I forgot about y'all. Y'all thought I forgot about maybe uh, the shout outs. But no, I haven't. Just hadn't had the time to sit there and acknowledge my family members that come over from time to time and make their opinions known on certain videos I put out. But I'm going to go straight on through them and try to be quick and fast and hurry with it. So if I don't get all of your, say one person comments several times out of my video, I'll just pick the one and, and go from there and then continue to go on. Okay, so it won't be so 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 long and drawn out for the people just don't get with the shout outs okay but i want to say hey barbara kelsey hey girl how you doing she wrote she wants a peach keep lying for portion she'll end up like phaedra Woo, child what you say what you say what you say now okay and that was with portia williams friend of the real housewives of Atlanta, shamia moore defends herself against kenya moore but yeah you keep looking <laughs> Keep linking up with Kenya Moore trying to bring people down. You're going to have more egg on your face than you thought you should have had. Okay. So good looking out. Just wash your uh, arm, Chauncey. That way you shouldn't play with disinfecting stuff. You're going to make your own self sick. Because you're making me sick of all this shit flying around you know, in the air. Just wash soap and water. Soap and water. You aren't supposed to do with your mattress. Okay, we ain't do too much. You ain't do you're doing too much. You're gonna put all that stuff. In. Ah, so you mess with my videos taping time. You see what I'm saying? She'll never leave me alone, Lord. Who is she trying to lie all her whole Rona kill the Rona? But I'm like, girl, you're doing too much. Your stuff should already be, you know, somewhat sanitized. Anyway, ain't like you standing in a motel with many, many people sleeping on the same bed, girl. But anyway, that's Sean for you. Okay, hey, Nita Young. She wrote, child, Nene probably look younger than the ones talking smack. She definitely don't look her age. She looks younger than a lot of people in their 30s. They should be com commending her for giving back. They probably be mad because they ain't get that women because they can't get that 500 plus she can actually sing and i love her new song honey yes need a long young i love that song too honey honey when she's trying to wrap up them but people gonna always try to throw salt on people mainly because they're not doing what another person is doing and getting some type of acknowledgement whether it's good or bad or all of it's indifferent you know what i'm saying it just People gonna have personalities. People gonna make their own presumptions and, and and stuff of that and speculation. So, yeah, I like what Nene doing. Sometimes she be going overboard, just like the rest of the cast member people in general. You know, sometimes you can just do a little bit too much. You know what I'm saying? Just add it too, too, too much. But thank you, Nene, y'all, for stopping by, girl. We got Wanda Walker. She said, "Hey, can you hold your head? God bless uh, you with a beautiful daughter." uh wanda yes continue to tell kenya to keep her head raised high but also tell kenya to stop doing a lot of bullshit going around here okay and we already know she has a beautiful daughter that's just is what it is uh nothing left to say about that one we got uh junior aureli hey uh you wrote you was privy to watching the show don't cancel your cable boo otherwise you won't have access to kenya's beautiful life okay yes kenya has a very interesting life i wouldn't say beautiful but i'll say interesting okay going back we got perlene watson hey perlene girl she wrote shamia defend portia portia didn't defend shamia against phaedra so they both are fake only thing i got to say about that perlene all these housewives are fake i guess you could call us in a sense as human beings fake sometimes because we just sometimes portray who we want people to see and not who we actually are um you know and i, I guess i could be because most people don't know that i do youtube videos at work you know, it just is what it is. Some know, some don't know. And they be like, oh, I didn't know you had that side. I'm like, it's always two sides to a person. Sometimes three, four, five. You know, it depends on what you get that particular day. You're showing out. Okay. But anyway, business side 
personal side tend to kind of conflict if they come in contact with one another. That's why we try to keep everything kind of kosher and separate. Um, we got S. Hutchinson. Hey, girl. She's a YouTube content creator, girls. Gentlemen, go over there and see her channel. You will be definitely rewarded with a plethora of entertainment she can give you. Um, she wrote, keep being great, queen. Continue to remain healthy, mind, body, and soul. And I'm like, thank you, sis. I'm trying over here. I'm trying, okay? Uh, then we got my PM, Patricia Casey. My pimp in the house. My pimp, pimp, pimp in the house. Okay? She's giving us a lot of clever information to think about and expose our mind to when we're talking about the covenant of marriage and this, that, and the third. Leaving Cleve. We talked about how you are supposed to leave your parents and cleave once to, one to make each make each other one in a man and a, a woman's reunion uh union of a marriage and you know forget about your mom and dad you know what i'm saying but you know everybody ain't all up to that biblical standard of things some people just like kenya more it seems she has more of an agreement a contractual agreement other than a uh fun field expression of love on a marriage certificate so we know some people out there, they would be like, I don't want the law to justify whether I love you or not. I don't have to have a piece of paper. You know, them kind of um, mundane, goofy type people. No, I want it all. Cause when it comes to it, when I have to show if you dead or not, I got to show that I was your wife so I can read them benefits. Or if you get sick or whatnot, I need to read them benefits. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> or if I get displaced on my job and I don't have no... Um, insurance i'm married to you that'll give me benefits to you okay but that's just me and how i got down okay and how i still get down but uh thank you my sister pm patricia casey I'm always glad to see you in there making your opinions known we got sunny dillard hey girl i'm glad you're back uh you wrote i always believe something was very shady about how mama sharon just passed away the way she did girl you know i always thought that was funny kind of secret society type shit going on if you want to know the real ttt but that's just between you and me all right girl um uh, let me see here we got china black she says funny her so-called receipts don't verify what she said she said shamia text her but she didn't can you text her first and she wasn't in labor shaking my head should have kept that one on the low <laughs> i'm like girl you know china everybody be out there want to show something as far as receipts and they could not be telling what you wanted to say maybe saying something totally different but they just got to get out there and preach and, and and spill their own tea so i hate to laugh at that one but thank you for coming by china and then we got um diane anderson hey girl and you wrote you remind me of of the kenya you dislike so much you need a new heart and jesus ugliness has consumed you i'm like diane anderson give me a break okay please give me a break with that because just like you didn't like something i said you put it back to my doorstep but aren't you doing the same thing to me that you're saying i'm doing to kenya so i don't get i don't understand why can't we just let people be they're our own perspectives our own speculations and they put it out on tv it ain't like i'm going up to her house because i know where she's staying i'm just like giving her the third degree no she's on a television program i happen to look at that television program and i, af I actually have a youtube channel to pretty much say what i want to say about anything and everybody i want to talk about okay all right diane anderson but thank you for coming by putting your two cents in okay we got maxine brown hey girl you said todd is a good guy it does not matter his net worth candy loves him and he loves her and they make a big book together i hate when people talk about the brother like candy dragged him out of a gutter you all need to stop there's a lot of movies made by famous people and we have not heard anything about them Todd is a behind the scene type of guy. He is the guy who handles the productions for big shows. Maxine, girl, thank you for your comments uh, on Todd Tucker. But again, we got to let people speak their minds. So, you know, we let you speak yours. I speak mine. So we got to let the other people speak theirs. It's just their opinions. It's not golden. You know what I'm saying? It's just how we feel about what they're giving us on TV. Now, I have to disagree when you're saying he likes to be behind the scene. No, because ever since he's been with candy that's all i've been seeing him he he wearing candy like he a part of her attire he's a part of her attire you know what i'm saying like he's her coat she wearing everywhere you see candy you gotta see todd i'm like girl so but um like i said todd has his moments i'm very surprised 
I didn't like his uh, YouTube channel he started, but I did catch the latest one he brought out when he was cooking uh, um, vegetable omelet and he was talking or speaking on a particular subject about should men get enhancements done on their bodies such as women do. It was a quaint little conversation. He didn't have to put candy in it, you know. He could have bought somebody else in as a guest star or whatever, but he held himself. He held his own and I can appreciate his commentary that he showed me on that particular day. So Todd got skills. He just need to do like he did on that particular YouTube video. Let us see him. Let us get his perspective. Because that's all it is. Because what he talking may not be the truth for all of us to partake. But it's his truth. It's what he feels. Okay. About a particular situation. But um, um let me see. And you know like I said. I don't know if the money makes a difference between him and Canda or not. Uh, I don't think it really does, but I know she ain't trying to let him get her money if uh, things need to be said because she sure got that prenup. Uh, so I think it does have a little bit to do with money. You don't want people making a fool out of you when you don't really see the other parts that are going on that other people may be privy to seeing out when he's out of Candace's eyesight. You see what I'm saying? So, um... It's just best not to mix money and family together. Or if you're going to be doing something, they need to be doing their own thing and making money. And then um, you need to be doing your own thing so he can have an even playing field. But see, Todd get caught up in the mix. He's already done said himself verbally out of his own mouth that he's trying to keep up with what people expect, me the public. I, which is us, and then whatever Candace family members are expecting of him to be. And, you know, he's doing some shit he don't even like doing, you know, just to keep up with her status and her money of what they have to dish out amongst each other. So he got to solve that issue. We'll keep looking, but he has to come in uh, some type of comfort or understanding of where he is and what role he plays in that particular relationship. But thank you for stopping by, Miss Maxine Brown. Okay, then we got C. Mech U. Um, she wrote, Wendy apparently needs some attention. Laugh out loud. I'm with you, girl. Um, Wendy needs all the attention she can to keep her, uh, her show alive. Because she's really a gossip columnist. She does entertainment gossip. That's what she's built her platform up to be. So she got always have to be in the mix with somebody and something. Okay, then we got Orchestra Mag Queen uh, goes on to say, Wendy's trash. No wonder Kevin was able to play her trifling ass for so long. This fool makes a living talking and degrading others. How tragic, which is why she's along with no support. Her own words, bad built, desperate seeking. Susan, okay orchestra mad queen speak sister speak but i have to think that i i think wendy knew all along she just didn't want it to get out in public but once it became public public and people started making their own opinions and you know trying to comfort her and she couldn't have no defense because she knew what was going on everybody kind of know when a man cheating or something ain't going right even if you know when it's too powerful of a woman not to own have her own private investigator she probably just had to get a lot uh compiled up so when it was time for her to jump ship and be by herself she had a lot on cabin that she could use as uh leverage to so he couldn't get deeper than he wanted to get in her pockets you see what i'm saying because if you acting out there all fake frugally fuckery fraudulent with your shitty behavior and activity of course she gonna have to have something to bounce back and say no nah, you did all this you think i'm gonna forget that that ain't what we signed up for and i'm not gonna um, pay you any mind or dust i'm gonna pay you dust when you're talking about you want this type of figure or this type of salary no because you did all these different infr infringements so let's Let's go back. Let's go way back when. Okay. And then she just showed him all the evidence she compiled against him. Then he probably don't have too much to stand on. But she said, okay, you are the father of my, ch you are the dad of my child or whatever. So I'm going to throw you a lifeline. But it ain't going to be what you expected. Okay. Because you played me. So that's all I got to say about that. Miss Orchestra Mad Queen. But thank you for stopping by. We got Val Williams up in the house. Wendy Williams is the last to speak on someone after all the craziness Kevin has done to to her with baby mama plus 12 years now and now all of a sudden she has gotten a divorce she's better than everybody else but she was full of lies 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 when it came to her and kevin as far as nene and kenya argument at candy's event which 
was started by Marlo ne Marlo's Nene friend was the one that was acting and talking so ghetto. I forgot she's supposed to be the HBIC queen. Hashtag girl by hashtag stop hating. Hashtag uh, be safe. You know the president is trying to kill us. That's why he opened up the southern states first. They all don't know what to say about you, girl. But thank you, your family. <laughs> we'll let you go on with that one, okay? Woo, behind the, uh, the press. I'm like, he didn't tell Kemp to open up our state. <laughs> he walking it all the way back. He said he didn't tell Kemp. He's against Governor Kemp for opening up our state the way we did. But, you know, we go behind them doors. We know he probably said it. And Kemp trying to say, I'm going to be the first. I'm going to be the first. And God kill all of us. But, you know, like I said, the Lord has his hands on every last one of us. And it's up to him to let who get sick and die and those he let stay here on this earth and prevail okay man think they got life and death in their hands but the lord has a way to show us all no you don't okay but thank you Val, for stopping by love then we got charla thompson she says who in their right minds pays attention to when they will girl charla you can say the same about me who the hell pay attention to me <laughs> But we just go with it, girl. We get our little kiki here and there, and we just go with it. Then we got Jerry Hendrickson. Hey, girl. She said, Kenya don't know what work is. She needs to go out and get a real job. Then she know what real work is. Candy knows what work is, or she won't have what she has. Unlike Kenya, she don't need the housewives. <laughs> Candy would keep making the money. Now, Jerry, you know I'm there with you half the way. I'm half, I'm half, I'm with you. Not all the way, but half the way. I believe all these women, if they didn't need Real Housewives of Atlanta, after all the bad lighting, they have showed the bad behavior, demeanor, or they... Uh, what do you call it chop up and piece together whatever they want when they're taping to show these women in the worst possible light possible if they didn't like the fringe benefits they get as well as the money they get for this show they would not be on this show they love the uh, limelight they love going into the public and people knowing and recognizing who they are from what show they you know were born on they love this attention. So, no, I have to say it's twofold. They like the uh, drama side. And they love the side that it offers them to be in the uh, lucrative uh, monetary type environment. That they have uh, definitely enjoyed for a long time. And they don't have any uh, regrets about being in that limelight. And don't want to give it up either. Okay. So, like I said, it's twofold. They have to like one and dislike the other, but they still coincide with one another. Oh, child. Okay. All righty then. Uh, let me see. We got Orlando Swabby. God judge you by the nature of your heart and not what you wear. He was referring to the video I had did on rapper. T.I. felt Pastor Jamal Bryant for new birth was trying to shake him up, meaning get money out of him. But I was just saying, you know, we know T.I. has money. The things that T.I. do out in them streets, and especially to his wife, he's not a God-loving man or he's not a God-fearing man because he knew what he was doing was wrong. My stance on it, he came like he was going to a uh, uh, outing a uh, uh, outdoor barbecue him and his wife or something that's how he was dressed and i'm like you coming in the house of the lord you're supposed to wear your best okay and that is not ti's best wardrobe that he could possibly pull together is what i'm saying because if you're gonna go that way then go to these award shows the same way that you pay homage to or these concerts you go and you be looking flossing or just hell out in the street sometime with him and tiny be going to nightclubs or whatever how he be dressed up with his fedora hat then what the same thing in church that's all i'm saying keep it real but anyway uh he made his a point um his opinions made and I, I um i thank you for that orlando swabby then we got lady g she says nene girl do your thing have fun f the haters get that money honey and that was uh regard to a video i had put out on nene releasing her ep uh honey and i'm like okay but it, you know you gotta realize it. it does have a good beat to it it does have a little good beat to it um 
Because I was dapping my feet to it for a minute. And I was like, look at Nene trying to rap. Though, people, when you're in our age group, 50s, and you ain't really had a history of rapping, um, <laughs> it's not something you want to come out with. Because we be thinking you're drunk and you're just trying to floss. And we just give you the whole stage to go on and how we say make a fool out yourself. But like I said, hey, who as long as Nene don't come back with no throwback jersey and no hat flipped to the back, you know, how some of the guys wear their hats or whatnot, then we straight. She's going to have fun with herself, okay? Then we got Sandritz, um, my Pikachu little avatar person. Says, Kenya not only needs a psychiatrist, but she needs an exorcist. Okay. All right, child. I'm telling you, Kenya is a uh, trouble soul, trouble soul. But she got she to gotta recognize it for herself. Can't nobody keep recognizing it for her. She got to recognize it for herself and go get some help. Okay? Because Kenya don't always have to play the villain. It's, you know, you can give it to us here and there. But you don't always have to go gun ho. Just like they said, you know, just because somebody come at her don't mate. She going to come back the same way they come back to her. She going to come back ten times, three times harder. But why would you have to? You know, you can sneak up on somebody and get them just a peak surprise. Of the uh, comeback. You you don't have to go. Like I said. What she did with Tanya. Trying to bring. You know she got mad. Because Tanya was talking about. Uh, some accessories. Some hair accessories. She left back in Toronto. And a phone charger. And uh, I don't think. Kenya could see was blood red. To get back with her. Instead of her. Catching her. In some of her business adventures. Or whatever. Trying to throw salt on that. She went for a man. And you don't go out there and do that. You know what I'm saying? You don't go there. You know, can you talk about man is off limits, the family is off limits, but then you gonna go there, can you girl? So anyway. Yes, uh Kenya needs both, okay? And then we go to Marisol. Hey Marisol girl. Love to see you up in here. No, you will be up in here all the time, okay? Love it, love it, love it. But she goes on to say to the people of Georgia, don't fall for the okie doke. Stay home. COVID-19 has ravaged New York City and it was manufactured for people with lots of melanin in their skin. Black people need to take as much vitamin D as they can right now. Ask your doctor to prescribe 50,000 IU units for you to kickstart your respiratory system. Vitamin D strengthens, strengthens the respiratory immunity this virus was manufactured to attack the very part of our body that is weakest during the winter months that's why they are trying to control the weather to keep the sun from coming out because the sun replenishes our bodies that's why they said the virus will lessen in the summertime they knew what they were doing come summer black people will have enough vitamin d in their bodies to fight the virus black brown people should take at least a thousand units of vitamin d daily note that trump and his disciples are already inoculated with the vaccine that they created when they created the virus that's why they can come on tv day after day and huddle together with no worries of getting the virus i think trump had it before he was inoculated that's why he took the tw test twice okay and that's my girl marisol pumping some knowledge in for those who want to hear and for those who want to see okay but i'm like i still think trump trump is a robot he don't look human okay he don't talk human he's devoid of any type of compassion and then with that stupid thing he said that we must oh he wondered if we in, injected um disinfectant cleaner into our system with that cure the virus i mean come, you see what i'm saying you see where i am going with this man okay so anyway this is giving somebody an opportunity to really go kill themselves if they really hung on every word that he felt or they felt was gospel they would go and do that and end up in the hospital and dead before nightfall okay i'm just saying uh then we got christine mclean hey girl she says can give kenya a break missy <laughs> okay girl i'll give a break for the moment okay but you know i'll be right back on that ass you know i will girl but anyway thank you christine mclean for coming by we got valerie mosley she said y'all hate kenya so much no we don't girl we just like speaking on kenya and her negative actions that's all that's all girl then we got special k meals number one salad beauty in detroit only have two on the shelf they said it don't sell well <laughs> and special k is talking about the kenya moore hair products that kenya moore definitely has said is a multi-million dollar value business of hers okay but she said they only have two that's all the thing they want to order was two to see what lead the show girl 
Honey, please, not throwing salt on Kenya Moore's hair products. It's just about everybody's products. It depends on what person and their texture of hair that can make a product work and people can speak volumes or lackluster of a product. So, you know, it's a lot of products that are out there that will not get the golden seal from me. And I've tried a lot of different hair products out there, but it seems like the thing that mostly helps me is the old day tried and true products like that blue grease called Blue Magic. Mm hmm. And that green grease that called Blue Magic too, but it's just in the green. Or that uh, Royal Crown that press on. Girl, now them are my staples. Okay, along with Johnson, um, wait a minute, Baby's Shampoo. Those are my staples, and they grow my hair, like, really, really good. And what grew my hair when I was in a perm state, when I was perming my, perming my hair, was, um, oh, uh, what's it called? Beautiful. It was a kid's perm. Or oh, any really kid's perm grew my hair all the way almost down to my back. I mean, not down my back, but uh, at my, what do you call it? My shoulder blades almost down towards my butt. That's how my hair had gotten so grown. It had grown so uh, long. But then, you know, it broke off. It, them chemicals, I'm telling you, they ain't good. Especially if you're taking blood pressure medications or whatever. So, I've been wearing my hair right now about five or six years now. Uh, natural. And I just went back to where um, I have started uh, pressing it out. So, it's still natural. And I'm only using my blue and uh, green blue magic grease uh one for the hair texture one for the scalp and yeah that's where i plan to go because if you don't really know how to do your own hair now you need to learn and invest because a lot of beauticians are out there cosmetologists or whatever hairstylists they're there but again what is something worse than corona comes and you can't get out to the beauty salon because you can't go to them because of the virus what are you going to do so you're going to have to be educated about your own hair and start doing your own hair and maybe go into the um specialist like for special occasion moments or whatnot because that's how i really see them now as more as a um a desire not a need or want okay but anyway, uh, Sombra TV, she has her own YouTube channel over there, going over there, and she talks about makeup, she sells jewelry, uh, she's a motivator, again, can't say, um, uh, nothing bad about her station or her, she's a very beautiful individual, go check her out, Sombra TV, okay, uh, if I tell you to go check out these people, that means I love them, in some form of fashion they're good people to me so it's not something i'll turn you on to just to be just throwing you out there uh, to be capturing mess or whatnot um just depends on what you're into when you want to look at youtube videos but anyway she said yeah kenya sounded stupid asking why can is still working kenya comes off jealous it's hard to see kenya in a positive light when she keeps throwing shade and i'm like yeah honey she always talking about nene uh breaking up with folks <laughs> at least nene break up with she tell you i ain't got nothing else for you this season i'm gonna i'm gonna take a break from you and the show and we just gonna be status quo and if i decide to come back and humble myself and you know try to get in good with y'all again then y'all know what time it is other than that i have nothing for you <laughs> so i can say at least nene tells all the women if not some i ain't got nothing for you but kenya she plays the role of she like you and she tries to get what she wants and when she can't use you no more uh to her advantage she tends to drop you like a bad habit okay but uh that's something uh definitely cynthia and candy and anybody else that want to uh, be on her platform or in her presence they got to learn about kenya uh and that's just pretty much it uh amy v uh, she commented, um, that comment by Kenya was a little suspect to me, too. Uh, girl, Amy, all com comments coming from Kenya are suspect. Uh, let's see. Do, do, do. Let me see. Do, do, do. Barbara Patrick, she spoke out and said, Lady, you are a Nene fan for real to think it's okay for Wendy and Nene to speak on Kenya, baby. But you can't see the bullet, Nene, Wendy, needs to get hell no barbara patrick what do you come off saying that 
I, I applaud both Nene and Wendy for getting on Kenya, baby. Now, we all know what we heard Nene say. Yes, Nene said, is she having a buffalo? True that, true that. The kid got hit uh, by just being a part of what Kenya Moore was displaying. Okay, it, it really doesn't matter. Here or there, people going to always feel what they feel. But I really feel Nene doesn't really go after children unless they come directly at her and they're of age to get it. You see what I'm saying? Just like I don't believe or feel that Nene should be using her son, Brett, in this little situation. She's trying to find uh, proof or give receipts on Yovana talking about Nene lied about Snake Gate that she was behind it all when Nene trying to say no, Yvonne had it all, but you know she's using her son Brett to sit out there and, and, and you know get all this information and drop it on social media, and that's not cool. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like Nene, don't use your son in that uh, effect. Don't do it, okay? Don't put yourself or your son out there like that, okay? Let Brett do Brett. Let him do a uh, Brent do Brent. He do his own show, and that's it. Don't do not do like Kim Zosette used to be flaunting uh, Brielle everywhere, you know, and Ariana, and when she gets a chance, but mostly her uh, Doberman twin, Brielle, and they, you know, be shading folks here and there. No, don't, no. You and Kim Zosette need to be shading each other all day, every day. Don't put Brielle in, even though Brielle did say something about roaches all up in your house. We only saw one roach, okay? And they made it into nothing. Was uh kim shady to let her daughter do that yes she was and she should have been checked her check not the child but it just is what it is okay then we got hey girl 2712 said she said her and mark agreed that her and aunt lisa would receive custody okay all right i you know maybe custody of kenya not let mark have any of her money to raise baby brooklyn but I really don't see how, uh, I don't know. It's, this whole thing is just a trip with Kenya and trying to find any formative truth in what she says given to us. Because, again, why would you go to a state planner? You should be going to a divorce lawyer. But then you can't go to a divorce lawyer because she never got married. So, ah, it's just a step she goes to try to make something relevant and truthful. That's what I get. I have a hard time trying to get on her team. Uh, but thank you, Hey Girl 2712, for stopping by. Continue to come back, okay? Then we got Spicy Herc. She says, if Nene comes off of the equation, we will see these latest true colors. Just as Nene said, they will turn on each other if they take a look at Kenya's facial expression and body language, body language when she's around either cynthia or candy separately or together and there is something positive being said or featured about them you could see the jealousy reeking from her through and through now while cynthia might be so candy can pretend well and that's true because she candy pretends that she really has made up with portia and she has let bygones be bygones but we know that's a bunch of foolery okay fakery fuckery fraudulent shitty activity that Candy's trying to give us candy hold grudges to the day she died, child. Look at them Scott sisters, okay, from Escape. Yeah, she ain't forgave them. She ain't forgave them. Ain't try to put them on on no shape, form, or fashion either, okay? So Candy just works when it works for her. She has to be filmed with them. She, you know, cordially get along with them. But then after that, she gone, okay? Uh, then we got Janice Quinn. She says, it's sad when you give someone a little of your life. They will fill in the blank on what they don't know. It doesn't matter what Kenya does. Y'all twist it. Kenya didn't say she was leaving Brooklyn to her aunt. Just her money. Nene been hateful since day one. And y'all love it. When Kenya gives Nene a dose of her own medicine, y'all call her hateful and want her off the show. It's crazy. But Janice Quinn, you know, in my favor, I don't want nobody off the show unless uh, unless they ain't giving us nothing. Like, Eve, I've been telling her, I don't want her on the show. You know what I'm saying? But I don't make the decisions of not. She ain't giving me nothing but showing me how to have a baby. That's it. You know, I'm like, is there any more to your life than having children? You know, do you have a business that you're starting? Do you want to tell us about, you know, your comments and goings or being on platforms such as Rick and Smiley? Uh, Dish Nation and then the Real Housewives of Atlanta, how you keep that going and what you do to keep that, you know, show us something, but just being pregnant, eating all the time and saying she love her husband, they ain't getting it. How long you got on the mic? I don't know why. Still trying to vacuum. 
Okay. Anyway, and so, um, two more minutes. It just is what it is. So, I, I don't know, Janice Quinn. Like I said, you have your opinions. We all have our opinions on what we feel, who we want to see. Uh, maybe it all come together where we all would love it one day. But I doubt it. I really do. That's why we have opinions of our own. Okay, but anyway, thank you for coming by. Uh, we got Casey Sweet Girl. She says, all Nene and Mark got in common is New York. <laughs> she was born in Queens. And if you recall, during season 10, episode 17, titled Remarkable, and in came in the door just before Mark entertained, I mean, entered the PSA event. They had to have seen each other. I believe uh, Nene introduced herself to him outside. No one, included Kenya, has stated how they met outside of her presence in ATL. Was it in New York? How and when did he meet Greg? And was it in person or over the phone? When? Even Nene hasn't taken the liberty to gloat. Why, after Mark was shown, Nene said in her confession that the question by the producer's nudge, do you think they're in love? Or her reply was that Kenya's in love as if Mark was not. It goes to show that Mark does not watch Real Housewives of Atlanta to know how Nene bad mouths him. What I do know is that in her travels, uh, to do comedy shows of all things she runs into Chef Roble Ali the man reporter introduced Mark and Kenya multiple times enough for him to bring attention to it on his IG February 11 2020 note that Roble no longer follows Kenya <laughs> on IG Lord how mercy uh, we posted Kenya's wedding day announcement June 20th, 17, based on what Robles said about his longtime friend Mark. He thinks the world of Mark as a person enough that he played matchmaker based on what he believed to be Kenya's true character. You got a great man, Kenya. That's my man right there. I'm trying to be like him when I grow up. When I introduced you to, I knew you would hit it off. Congrats, y'all, Mark. You are the best man I've ever known. Thank you for loving me unconditionally. Okay. Child, <laughs> I don't know because I kind of had suspect that kind of uh, Mark went bisexually because I know I don't know for the truth to be a true thing, but even Chef Robley looked like he is gay, okay? So I'm like, can you, can you, can you, can you? Are you hanging with the gay population to just shake and bake you a storyline girl and have some of these men to make extra money say they're straight when they know they're not? But since they're not that well known in social media or the social media world, we won't connect the dots. You know that you're dating down low men that you know are down low, and the only thing they're doing is helping you out to a certain degree and you helping them out monetarily to a certain degree. I'm just saying, Kenya, it's looking kind of shady. Once again, you putting that question mark up in people's heads. Then we got Wanda Walker. She said, hey, can you hold your... Okay. Okay, I think I did that one already. Yes, I did. So that's all I got. Many thanks to everyone that came by who wanted to definitely uh, either put me in my place or tell me, uh, that they came correct and they felt the same way I felt. Well, they had a difference of opinion and they weren't being disrespectful at all. And I had to pay attention and leave some understanding or lend some understanding to where they were going with the conversation. But if I forgot anybody, please forgive me. I was just scrolling down my timeline and I've already given it 38 minutes. And I know some of you have already clicked off and some of you all dedicated fans, viewers family members however y'all see me y'all have definitely given me the one-two punch where you watch it from the beginning to the end and you love me that much okay uh but that's all i had just just shout outs more love to the ones that do come over faithful few and the ones that come in say hey and the ones that starting to come in and they want to sit down for a while and, and and speak they true thank you thank you thank you i love you all okay and i will see y'all next video